Here's a preview of the kind of content you can create by bringing your SOLIDWORKS models into your presentations to bring your designs to life. To get started, the first two steps are going to be to import the model into Visualize and then export as a .glb file type. So I've imported this SOLIDWORKS assembly into SOLIDWORKS Visualize, and SOLIDWORKS Visualize standard is included with every seat of SOLIDWORKS Professional and Premium. So once I've imported it here, I'm going to go to File, Export, and export this project out as the GLB file type. After the export finishes up, I can head over to my PowerPoint presentation where I can insert my 3D model. I'll select that GLB file and insert. The size and orientation of this model can be adjusted by dragging the outside corners and then adjusting the manipulator in the center of the view so that you can get any uh, 360 view of the model. I'll copy and paste our 3D object onto the next slide and orient it to a kind of side view showing the details of the switch and the red wheel. As the 3D model switches between these 360 orientations, we can animate those transitions between the views by applying the morph transition to all of our slides. So I'll actually go ahead and just control A to select all of my slides, go to the transitions tab and apply the morph transition. And we'll get a little preview of what that first transition looks like. Moving on to our third slide, I'll copy and paste the model again. This time we want to have a more detailed view. So I may want to zoom out so that I can make the 3D object even larger than the space of our slide. And as I make these adjustments, we can always look over to the thumbnail for a preview. We'll paste the model onto the final slide. And this time, instead of manually orienting the model with the manipulator, we can actually head up to the 3D model tab here where we have some standard front, top, and right orientation views. I'll select the default view, which is the front of our model. When we're ready, we can go ahead and start the slideshow and check out our new presentation. Thanks for joining us for this video. I hope this little tip helps you take your presentations to the next level.